Mental health, two words we hear used a lot these days, and many people have struggled with or know someone who has struggled with a mental health condition. Yeah, and there are ways to find support to get through low points, and using healthy coping mechanisms is one way, like exercise, music, and art. Today at the Union Depot, the Art Ability Show and Sale displays, displays artwork from people in our community and what they created. Jill Weidman West is here to tell us all about it. We are so glad you are here with us this morning. Thank you. And this has already happened yesterday, a second yeah. day today. Correct. Tell us about this program and, and how it all works. Uh, well, the Art Ability program is in its 27th year. Of course, we unfortunately weren't able to do a show and sale the last couple of years, but we are so excited to be back with over 460 pieces of art created by individuals here in the metro area um, and beyond that um, self-identify as having mental health issues. So this is sort of the, the finished product version <clears throat> of the work that really has taken place leading Correct. up to this, right? Explain a little bit about these, these workshops that you do. So what we do is uh, in the community, uh, we create workshops for individuals that just want to participate. Again, all they have to um, have is a, a, a self-identified mm -hmm. mental health condition. They're allowed to come to the workshops. They don't have to be a client of ours. And uh, we provide the tools, uh, the different um, instruction, and they get to create art. Uh, we also have online uh, on-demand uh, versions mm -hmm. of the art workshops as well. And it's, it's a really an opportunity for individuals um, to just create um, art that kind of helps to express where they're at. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and how do you see are helping people cope with their mental health issues? Um, well, <clears throat> it's a very important piece of coping because for many folks, uh, mental illness can be incredibly isolating. Mm -hmm. And um, that isolation makes it hard to talk or have a conversation about what's going on. Art and music and other kinds of um, artistic outlets really help individuals to be able to express themselves without sitting down and saying, this is what's going on for me. Mm -hmm. um, more importantly, in the last couple of years, of course, we have seen extraordinary challenges to isolation yeah. with or without a mental health condition. Mm -hmm. So imagining how much more that is um, affected folks. We have an entire section of pandemic created art uh, for uh, that individuals have uh, submitted. Uh, because for a lot of them, that isolation was at an all-time worse. Now, you say that this is not just support for the, the people who are experiencing a mental illness or mental mm. health issues, but it's really supporting the entire community. Can Absolutely. you explain that a little bit? Um, well, at People Incorporated, we believe um, mental health is community health. And our you know goal and our mission is really to create wellness in our communities. Um, there are folks out there struggling with all kinds of different things. and. Uh, we really want to open up the doors and say, you know, how can we help? And Art Ability is one of the ways that we can help. Um, we can help with a lot of different things, services, supports for housing, etc. But this particular um, program really helps uh, people to enter into the system mm -hmm. in a creative way, in a way non that, way, in right? a non-threatening yeah. way, and um, really um, go from there. Well, so we're proud of it. Yeah, and the artwork today um, for sale, 10 until 4 at Union Depot. Money goes back to them. Jill, we're so glad to have you. Thank here with you us so this much morning. for this. Of course, All right. Have a great day. thanks so much.